30 days ago, after getting tired of seeing my thinning hair every time I looked in the mirror, I decided it was time to bite the bullet and just to go bald. Losing your hair can come with a lot of emotions, and over the last 30 days, it's just been interesting to see how my attitude towards hair loss has evolved and how I've changed in this time. So, let's start from the beginning. I guess the first thing I want to talk about is how I felt initially after I shaved my hair off. So truthfully, it was a big shock. And even though this wasn't the first time I had shaved my head, this was the first time I had shaved my head in years. So every time I'd look in the mirror, I just had this image that I wasn't used to seeing. One thing I began to notice before I shaved my head, and this is when I still had my thinning hair, is every time I looked in the mirror, I would have this negative thought in my mind just about my hair loss. I was always critiquing my bald spots and trying to see if they had become more noticeable. So after I shaved my head, every time I go to look in the mirror, I kind of had this negative thought in my mind before I would see myself. And it was just kind of on the lines of, you know, you've lost your hair now, you're bald, you don't have hair anymore, and you're not going to like what you see. But every time I saw my reflection in the mirror, I had a thought more of, oh, your bald head doesn't look nearly as bad as you make it out to be. And maybe this change is really not as bad as you thought it was going to be. Over this 30-day period, that negative thought has gone away. Because every time that I saw my bald head, it's now an image of me that I'm used to seeing. And I've totally accepted it. So the thing I hated most about my shaved head was just the attention that my freshly shaven head drew. Everybody had something to say about it. And it's not that what they were saying was negative. That wasn't the case at all. It just drew a lot of attention for the first few days. Now, after the first few days, all those comments stopped. The thing is, after a couple of weeks, most people have probably forgotten what you look like with hair to begin with, and your bald head has just now become the new normal for you. So sticking with the topic of how other people reacted, it was all positive comments coming from the people that I interacted with frequently. But when you first shave your head, you always have this feeling that everybody is staring at your bald head, and it kind of makes you wonder, what do people really think of my bald head? Are they just being nice or do they really like it? I mean, that's the number one reason why guys get stressed out about losing their hair because they think that when they go bald, they're gonna become less attractive. Now I've been on YouTube for a long time and my feelings have kind of become dead to criticism. <laughs> so this is something that I wouldn't recommend that most people do, but I fed the troll and I decided to ask strangers on the internet to judge my decision to shave my head because I really wanted to know how people perceive my new look. So here's the pictures that I put out on the internet. Just pictures of me sitting right here before and after I shaved my head. So the first place I asked was my other YouTube channel. Nearly 1,000 people voted in the poll and at the time of this video, 74% of those who voted said I should keep my hair. Now, to be fair, this was a group of people that was used to seeing me with hair, so I kind of expected that this may be the result. So I do think when you look at this picture, my hair does look pretty good. It doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look like I'm somebody who's having a lot of balding. Sure, you can see my hairline's receded, but overall, it doesn't look that bad from the front. But that only shows you part of the story. So I created another poll, and this time I showed them the view of my head from the side, and I asked them if you knew that my hair looked like this from the side, should I still have kept my hair or should I have shaved it? So at the time of this video, that poll had over 600 votes and 88% of people said that I should have shaved it. So the next place I asked was a subreddit called Rate Me. I showed the same side-by-side -side photo and this time I didn't tell people that I was balding. I just said I wanted to get your opinion on me with hair and without hair. And to my surprise, especially after seeing my YouTube poll, the results were much more favorable to the shaved head look. In that poll, I did end up receiving many compliments on my shaved head, and many people seemed to like it both ways. But I had more comments saying that it looked better bald than with hair. From the ratings that people left, I calculated that my rating with hair was a 6.4 out of 10 for attractiveness. And without hair, it went up to 7.2 out of 10. So I had an overall positive rating on my attractiveness scale, according to these people on Reddit. I then put the same side-by-side -side photo in another subreddit called Bald, and the amount of positivity I got from that subreddit was absolutely amazing. To be honest, I started to feel really good about my decision, and even though I said that I was dead inside to criticism, a kind word is different, and it can really go a long way. So I know a lot of guys out there are worried that if they shave their hair, their hope for finding love is going to disappear with their hair. The one thing that I learned from this experiment is there is a whole group of the population out there who absolutely loves guys with shaved head. So honestly, 
If that's your main concern, I really wouldn't worry too much about it. Another thing that I began to notice is even though I felt like I've been fairly health conscious, once my hair went, I felt like there was nothing left to hide behind anymore. So I felt really compelled to take steps to improve my health, be it eating better or making sure that I'm not skipping any workouts. That was just another positive that came from shaving my head and I'm hoping that that will stick long term. And finally, over these 30 days, I've really put a lot of thought into the direction of my life and the kind of person that I've been. Now, the hair has nothing to do with this and you can do this without shaving your head, but historically shaving your head has been associated with a rebirth, so to speak, in a spiritual sense. Now, obviously when people see you with a shaved head, it's a big change to your physical appearance. And throughout this period, I've tried to couple that with a more positive attitude, just being more thoughtful in general and trying to have a more confident presence overall. I can't be sure if others have picked up the changes in my behavior, but in my mind, I feel like I'm a better person mentally now than I was before I shaved my hair. It's kind of allowed me to reinvent myself, if you will. Overall, I felt these last 30 days have been a very positive experience for me overall, and it's helped me direct that mental energy that I was putting into worrying about my hair into much more positive aspects of my life. Well, I hope you found this video interesting. I want to say thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.